Hello, welcome to part 2 of service monitoring charts, alerts and remediation. Agenda for today is we will see how do we set a policy for our services and then a demo. Today we will see how can we set email notification policy on top of a service. Email notification policy is nothing but something that alerts users to keep track of CPU utilization or memory or storage utilization. This can be done on top of services. Let us go into the live demo and see how this can be configured. To demonstrate email notification, we have logged into Cloud Lifecycle Management as an end user. A end user can also define a role. Currently, end user has one service that is running. On top of the services, there are a couple of buttons that says monitoring policy and monitoring charts. We will select monitoring policies. On clicking monitoring policy, it will take us to a page where we can define new rules. This page has a button called as new rule. We can click on new rule to add whatever rule we want to specify. Every rule has its name. For purpose of demo, let us name it as demo email rule. And then when when means a criteria that is defined, which when breached, email notification will be triggered. Let us select a metric CPU utilization and define a rule for less than or equal to 80% for more than one minute. This means if CPU utilization is less than or equal to 80% for more than one minute, our email should be triggered. Now we need to add various attributes for email. We will select send email notification. On selecting send email notification, we will have to fill in various recipients that are required to be part of this alert. For purpose of demo, I will give a dummy email address as xyz at email.com. We can add a recipient in CC as well. We can define a subject saying demo CPU metric and then a body for this email can be defined here. On the bottom, we see something that says do not repeat action again for at least X number of minutes. Currently it says 15 minutes. This means that once an email notification is triggered, do not monitor the service for next 15 minutes. We can now click on OK and save this rule. One can now see a rule that was defined just now is appearing here. We can click on activate to actually activate this rule. This means until unless we do not click on activate, the rule will not be active and will never be triggered. Multiple rules can be defined on a service and based on the criteria, an algorithm is defined which will take care of which rules to be executed and when. There is something called as activities tab. In activities tab, one can monitor what are the rules that got executed. We can see history over here. We can select all to see if any rules were executed on this offering. Over here, you would see there are a number of emails that were triggered for this service. We can now go back to policy and see if this can be edited. A policy can be edited in activated or deactivated mode, but it is better to deactivate policy when we are editing. When deactivated, the policy will never be triggered. We can click on say update the rule. Over here, we can change most of the parameters. We can add 
new email address who needs to be notified or we can change the metric to say memory utilization we can click OK to save the updated rule. Apart from the rule defining, there are three buttons on top of rule. On clicking this, it will take me to the activity tab and show if any action has been triggered based on this rule. And one which we saw uh, update rule and this will delete the rule. With this, we end the demo for email notification.